You have an unconditional welcome to Ron's basement. I'm glad you're here. Yesterday, we heard from Jerome Powell himself, and he used the magic word unconditional. You know, I wish he had pledged his unconditional love for us, but instead he used the word within a different context. We're going to examine that and more in this video. Let's get started right now. Do you remember not too long ago, the big word used by the Fed was transitory? Of course, they were referring to inflation, and I'm going to touch on an astonishing fact related to that later in the video. But first, the new word is unconditional. Yesterday, Jerome Powell, as part of his testimony on Capitol Hill, pledged an unconditional level of fight against inflation, meaning without any regard for anything else. Oh, really, Jerome? So that, to me, conjures up thoughts of us sitting around in burlap sap sacks with no money. Sure, there'll be no inflation because nobody will have any money to buy anything. Is that what you're going to do, Jerome? Crash the economy? And that's what looks like is starting to happen. The data we're getting and even the big prestigious banks are saying that we may be heading for a recession. And that's sure as heck one way to solve inflation, right? Severely constrict the amount of money that people have to spend. And hey, that drives down demand. And as long as the supply remains about the same, prices drop precipitously. The only side effect of all that is mass unemployment, people not being able to afford gas or food or rent. Look, that's not going to happen. And what is going to happen is this. Either Powell is going to pivot, or what I think most likely will happen is Powell will get fired and Leo Brainerd will come in to save the day. Easy money on the way. And that's good for the price of gold and silver. And we can look at just one simple example to see how this high interest rate policy can severely constrict the amount of money that people have and are willing to spend. While the high interest rate policies have not yet fed through to the housing market, don't worry, that is coming, they have affected the stock market. The S&P 500 down 20%. But here's the astonishing fact that I promised you, something you may not have thought of. Not only are people down 20% on the S&P 500, they're also down another 5 or 6% through these first six months because of inflation. You're down 20, and then what you do have left is worth five, an additional 5% less because its buying power has been eroded by inflation. All of this in a super high dollar level environment. Imagine if the dollar wasn't so damn strong, precious metals would be higher, but the price of everything would have inflated even more. This situation is screwed up. And really, mathematically, there's not much of a fine line that they can ride to make this work. I think there's some serious pain coming for the United States economy. Either we're going to have a super recession or we're going to have an environment where we have high inflation and the value of the dollar continues to erode precipitously. We'll see how it plays out. Thanks for joining me in Ron's basement. You're always welcome here. We're a group of like-minded individuals helping each other navigate the choppy waters we're encountering in this world. Precious metals, precious metal mining stocks, smart people are here. We're glad you're here and hope that you make the decision to come back. Until next time, you be well.